Breezy Retail. Follow the hustle. Abed Mada says uh, retail arbitrage versus wholesale on Amazon. And which one's better, I guess? Or it's kind of like none of these things are a one size fits all. I can't really say like retail arbitrage is better or wholesale is better. It really depends what you want and what you want to do. So here's let me try to paint this picture. If you want to sell products online for the rest of your life and that's what you want to do wholesale you do wholesale because that's a lot easier than chasing products all the time but if you want to start making money very soon right in a way that can create tremendous profit and opportunity and quit your job and change your life like now you need to do retail arbitrage because wholesale is going to take you over a year, maybe two years, maybe more, plus a decent startup capital. Retail arbitrage also is going to take a decent startup capital to claw your way into wholesale. So like what those guys that don't tell you that try to sell you the wholesale courses or the private label courses or the drop shipping courses what they don't tell you is that if you want to grow the business to the point where you can replace your traditional income and quit your job because you hate your life right now it might take you two years and if you're not willing to wait two years to get to that point where you can start traveling on that path to where you want to actually be at in life versus where you're at right now that might not be for you and so maybe you should do used books because used books or used anything that you sell, you know, in abundance on secondary markets has a potential to liberate you from a hundred thousand dollar job in three months, in six months for sure. I know for a fact, anybody that busts their ass selling used books or used clothing online in three to six months can produce enough income to quit their job and change their life. But you cannot do that with private label and wholesale. You know, you're going to need a decent startup capital. You know what I mean? You're going to need 50 grand for wholesale to start it up on any type of, you know, serious capacity to try to even like on a one year level, like you want to quit your job in one year. I don't even think 50 grand will do it. You know what I mean? Like it's not, and I'm not even talking big money. I'm talking just bringing in like 50 grand a year, like four grand a month. Anyway, so both awesome business models, both work retail arbitrage is harder to scale because it's hard. I mean, wholesale is harder to get going, right? To build it up, to grow your catalog of products, blah, 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 blah. But once you have a catalog of products and suppliers and you know, you're not running around anymore, retail arbitrage, you're running around a lot. It's harder to hire employees and say, Hey, here's your job. We go to stores every day. You're on a team of 15 people that go out and shop and here's the company credit card and here's a scanner and here's how you do it. That's weird. A lot weirder than saying, hey, welcome to our warehouse where we process wholesale products from, you know, reliable distributors to send off to Amazon, right? That's a little bit more normal. So ups, downs, but they both get around. Demo.